Meanwhile, Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds says that Iowa's pork producers are at risk if outbreaks at meatpacking plants continue. That's why she is working to keep those plants open, saying that she knows clusters of positive cases at plants will likely pop up. But it's more important to keep the state's food supply moving. This isn't like a regular facility where you shut it down for two weeks. We have farmers that are raising hogs. Uh, we are the largest hog producer in the country. We provide a third of the nation's pork supply. It's about 20, 25 million a year. And so if we aren't able to move them through the process, at some point, uh, we're going to have to be talking about euthanizing uh, hogs. And we're not that far from it. And it will be devastating, not only for the food supply, but for the cost of food going forward. Governor Reynolds says that she is working closely with meatpacking plants across the state and is in frequent contact with the CEO of Tyson Foods, talking about the steps the company is taking to slow the spread and isolate positive cases at their facilities. The discussion comes after two outbreaks in eastern Iowa and over the weekend, positive cases of COVID-19 reported at the Tyson Fresh Meats facility in Dakota City, Nebraska. The number of positive cases there has not been confirmed at this time.